Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Not Timmy 66's Lawn Care Adventure. Look at this day, guys. Ooh, it's a pretty day. Let's go get it. So any part of my new lawn care journey ugh, starts out with me needing to make some money, man. Like I have said before, and like I will say again now, I want to go into this venture as debt free as possible. So that means I got to start small. That also means that I've got to probably buy some used equipment. Maybe not the nicest in the world, but the stuff that'll work to get me through. We have some news on the lawn care front this morning. We have a name picked out, I think. Working on flyers. But before all that, I need to go run some deliveries and make some money today. But before all that, I got to get gas, man. Let's go get some gas. So we are on our way to go get some gasoline and then I'm gonna go ahead and log into the Uber system. Uh, I checked the other apps and there's absolutely nothing going on with them. The other apps by which I mean uh, Grubhub and DoorDash. So I just entered the Racetrack Rewards program. Try to save some money on gas, man. Yeah. And I don't really know how much money it's gonna save me. I tell you this much though, so dark don't know you try. Every little bit is gonna help, and it's gonna help a lot. The gas is three dollars and twenty-nine cents a gallon here in Texas, guys. Alright guys, now that we got that out of the way, let's get logged into Uber and get going. And let's chat a little bit about the lawn care business. A little bit I know anyway. Should be a short radio. <laughs> wow. So as you guys can imagine, I have a lot to do. A lot to do to get this set up and get it rolling the way I want it to roll. And it's gonna take a little bit of work, but that's all right, I'm not scared of work. Um, I have the mower, as I've mentioned. I am going to get a blower, an edger, and a weed eater, those three things. That is what the game plan is, because guys, even before I get a bigger mower, or even before I get a bigger tra a trailer, and a hitch, and all those things that I want to get, I have to get started. And some advice that was just given to me is now is the time to start getting your flyers out there. The weather, and, and it makes sense, because the weather's starting to get nicer, People are starting to think about their yards. And I don't want to be the late guy missing the boat on everything. So we're going to stay out today and we're going to do a little bit of Uber. Hopefully I can get something. I had two runs that came by my way that I went ahead and declined because they were like $2 for five miles, $3 for six miles. I'm like, come on, man. That's not going to... I just put $25 gas in the car. I need more than that. So anyway, as we drive along today, I'm going to be scoping out neighborhoods and areas that I think I want to go ahead and place flyers in. Then, once I get the flyers made up, they're probably not going to be anything fancy at all. I'm going to enlist the help of my little helper, that's right, my daughter, to go out with me and place some flyers on people's doors. And then we're going to go from there, guys. But before I can do all that, I've got to have the equipment to be able to do the job, right? I mean, I can't just say I'd love to edge your yard, but I don't have the equipment. That doesn't look good, does it? No. So I'll give you a little monetary update on yesterday. Man, have you guys ever tried these uh, 
and not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by Racetrack or these. We buy these. These are awesome, man. Ice. They're really good. Anyway, I thought I'd update you a little bit on yesterday, what happened. My wife and I ended up going back out yesterday after I got done filming. Because she needed a little bit of time out of the house. I mean, think about it, man. If you're working from home all the time. All you're seeing is those four walls, right? So she needed a little bit of time. And therefore, I said, well, why don't you go with me and we'll try to make some money. And we did. We ended up over $100 yesterday, guys, which is good for a Sunday. Not bad at all. Maybe uh, I went out with her for another two hours. So what was that? Four and a half hours of work. hundred, a little over a hundred, like 104, I think it was. I could look back, but I'm not going to. Um, but we did go to one place where... Uh, this restaurant where they said that you go in to pick up the order. We ended up going in to, uh, trying to go in to pick up the order in the lobby. The lobby was locked. It said due to staffing shortages. So anyway, we pull around and we go to the uh, drive-thru and we spent 15 minutes at the drive-thru. I'm talking about where you order. I hadn't even told them I was from Uber and I was there to place an order or to pick up an order. So I canceled it, man, after 15 minutes. And then we ended up taking a $20 run, um, about 18 miles, but it was worth it. It gave me and my wife some time to chat, come up with some good lawn service names, and just get her out of the house for a while. So it ended up being a profitable day all the way around, and it ended up being a good day just to spend with my wife. So yeah, that was the rest of my day yesterday, in case you were wondering. You probably weren't, but I wanted to add that. All right, guys, we are definitely on our first run. It is 10.43. We're heading up to a school to deliver some Chick-fil-A. Just thought I would show you guys a little bit of the sights. <coughs> I'm sure. Ooh, that was a big speed bump. I'm sure you all get sick of looking in my mug. But this one was $7 for 3.4 miles. Definitely worth it. Definitely a good way to break the ice. It is, like I said, 1044 now. So the lunch rush, lunch, I can't talk. The lunch rush is just about to begin. Let's get up here to the school, get this delivered, and get back to the hot area, the hot zone. Another speed bump. Oh, good Lord. All right, guys, we are almost there. Pulling up to the school. Got to find the main entrance, get rid of this Chick-fil-A, so I can make a customer happy, and a brother can make a buck, right? Let's go in here and see what the heck's going on. It looks like all the cars are over here on this side, so I guess we'll just follow this right on around and see if I can't get this delivered to her. question as to where to go. I don't see any main door, guys. Uh, this is it. Let's try it here. I'll be right back. Well, that wasn't the entrance. Dang it! I gotta go all the way back around this building. Dang it! And just like that, after five minutes of driving around this building, it's delivered. Let's move on. Yeah, guys, I got to say that today is pretty slow. Uh, made seven bucks so far. Which, you know, doesn't surprise me. Because typically, ugh, Mondays are pretty slow. People just don't want to spend any money on Uber. Not on Mondays, it seems like. Check the other apps and see what the heck's going on. That's enough about Uber. Let's talk about the business. So I get, did give you guys a little bit of a hint. My wife and I were talking about this morning. We were like, well, so what are you? what is it going to take to uh, get started? To really get a chance to get started? I mean, what do I need to get out there and do my job? Right? I have a self-propelled lawnmower. It's a Honda. It's a 21 or 22 inch. It's smaller, but it'll get me started. I need the edger. Need 
the weed eater. And I need a blower. I mentioned probably a thousand times to you guys already that I have that stuff, but it's electrical. It all takes electrical. And I, you know, I can just see myself trying to drive, drag 500 feet of, you know, extension cord up to a neighbor's yard. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, we got another run, by the way, too. $12.88 to go six miles. Definitely took that one. So that's the first thing is going in. If it stays slow today, I'm going to go ahead and I'll take you guys with me and we'll price some of these edgers and trimmers and stuff that I want to look at. And also maybe hit a pawn shop or two to look at some blowers. Um, I think I'm probably just going to go the handheld first, not the backpack blower. I'll probably kick myself later for doing that. But I think it's going to be a little bit less expensive. And honestly, I think for the size of yards I'm going to start out with, guys. Sorry, somebody just sent me a message. 3473. Okay. Um, for the size of yard that I'm going to actually start out with, guys, I probably am not going to need anything that's going to be that powerful. Now, as... John Smith, another shout out to you, mentioned to me. He said, you know, if you're going to need more power, <clears throat> excuse me, you may need more power for like leaf cleanup and stuff like that in the fall. But for right now, just blowing clippings back up onto the yard and stuff like that, I don't think I'm going to worry about that too much right now. And I think a handheld will work. So we're going to go do some pricing and check some things out. I'm just busy, busy, busy. I also have to go get some ink for my printer so I can print out some flyers so I can get my stuff on the road. But I can't do that until I get the equipment. So therefore, we are working hard today and the rest of this week to try to go ahead and get the money together to buy some decent equipment that I can get started. Yeah. Hey guys, we're currently on the second part of a two restaurant pickup. I had a pickup at Chicken Express and then another pickup, pickup, pickup over at uh, IHOP again. Uh, not in the same neck of the woods as last time though. Um, luckily, both those pickups were smooth, didn't take much time. It did take me a little time to find this guy's apartment, com not complex, but find his apartment. It took a while, man. Um, some apartments are just crazy, guys, and this one is definitely one of the crazier ones. I think I went up about three or four flights of stairs before I found the right one, but anyway, it's over with. It's done. We're almost done with the second part of this uh, delivery to keep on making money. And as you can tell, we are definitely in the industrial part of town right now. Still not really too far away from my house, a little bit further out than I prefer to go, but it's not all that bad, really. Um, this is actually kind of taking me out a little bit south, but that's all right, man. We will keep on rolling, keep on trucking for money. I cannot wait to go shopping and check out some of the uh, prices and stuff. Well, I don't know. Of course, I may say that now and then be like really sorry once I see the prices, but we're definitely going to go take a look. Hopefully today, if it stays busy, I've been pretty consistently busy since last time I dropped a little clip on this video. If it stays busy, then I'm going to stay with the money, but if it slows way up again or a little bit later on this afternoon, it's only 1130, uh, a little bit later on this afternoon, I will... Uh, at least run up to a pawn shop and see if they got any blowers in there, right? And see what they got. Right, right. And then, guys, we have this. I am not sitting here. We are going to turn around and have to find a different way to this lady's location. I mean, I don't mind trains, but come on. That's a little ridiculous. I think we need to find a place that we can go over the tracks. And look, guys, we're going over the train. Got to love it. All right, guys, let me go drop this one off. And I'll be right back. Yeah, guys, I don't mean to judge anybody at all. But I'm definitely in the hood. 
So we are getting out of the hood and heading back more towards my house. I've shut the app off right now so I can get out of here because I don't want to take any more around here. Uh, kind of approached by a guy offering to sell me a watch, had a tattoo on his face. You know what I'm saying? It's just time to move on. And I'm sure that watch wasn't stolen. I'm positive. I'm sure he's a watchmaker. He makes watches. And he just sells them when he's walking down the street in front of his house. That's what it is. Yeah, so we are definitely moving to a different part of town. All right, guys. It's a quarter to two. And I've earned not that much, probably about 35 bucks with Uber. And I ended up in having to cancel two or three different orders. It wasn't really a great day, but Mondays never really are, but that's okay. No more rants, I promise. I'm not going to get anybody try to rile myself up again over that stuff. I have gone ahead and got offline for now. May go out again this evening. See if there's anything at the dinner hour that I might get another 60 bucks or so. But right now, guys, we're heading to... That's right. You see that sign? Let's go check out some trimmers, man. All right, so obviously not buying anything today. We're going to head in here. See what they have to offer. See what they got for some pricing. Before I actually go in the store. They got mowers out. Let's take a look. Ryobis, zero turns. Cub Cadet. Ooh, look at the prices. Five grand. Wow. This is going to be the ticket right here for two twenty nine. This is an Echo. And it has the speed feed, 400 head reloads without disassembly. So 229 on that. That's brand new. Hmm. Blowers, we've got a gas powered Echo. Uh, for 169 it's a 2.4 cc gas powered handheld blower and that's 169 brand new and guys I'm not seeing any edgers any metal blade edgers hmm well guys I can guarantee you one thing I'll be working all week just to get that trimmer but that's okay I think it's smart, and correct me if I'm wrong, you guys didn't know, for me to actually go ahead and get a trimmer, weed whacker, weed eater, whatever, that's new. And Echo is highly recommended. It has the type of head on it, the speed head for quick feeding the string that I'm interested in. So, I think that's probably the route I'm going to go, guys. What do you guys think? Leave a comment, let me know. Let me know if you think I'm just going crazy with getting new, or should I just continue to look maybe at pawn shops or something like that. Anyway, guys, Nut Timmy 66's lawn care adventure is getting underway. From Home Depot, I'm going to sign out. I'm going to head home, start working on flyers. I'll let you guys know the business name here when I make a final decision. It's coming real soon. Everybody take care. Thank you very much for watching Not Timmy 66 today. More to come. No matter what you do in life, guys. Always make it count. Not Timmy 66. I'm out for now, guys. Everybody take care.